Wow, I cannot believe this is not real carbon fiber. Wow, look at that, guys. If you guys want to find out how I did this to my Audi center console in under 10 minutes for under 10 bucks, watch this video from the beginning to the end and you'll find out how. What's going on YouTube? This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors bringing you guys another video. I want to give a shout out and say thank you to all of my old original subscribers and my new subscribers who has put this channel on a platform to where it can reach the masses every day. I really appreciate all the love and support all of the great ideals for my subscribers. I've learned so much from my subscribers and I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to help you guys out as well. Like I said, this is the new 2021 platform to where we can all get our Audi needs and all of our questions, you know, answered in a timely fashion. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So this video is well warranted. This video is gonna be about how you can wrap this and carbon fiber you guys can see i wrapped this already in a one-dimensional carbon fiber and when i say dimensional the traditional one dimensional is going to be the carbon fiber that has like the traditional carbon fiber look something like this right here where you know you can kind of feel the carbon fiber and when you're thinking of different dimensions which is 3d three-dimensional two-dimensional this one right here is going to be more of a three-dimensional carbon fiber it has a smooth touch a smooth surface as you can see you can see my reflection in this carbon fiber this carbon fiber is a wrap but what's the point in paying 10 times the price to get a carbon fiber that looks exactly like this you guys see my reflection this is a 3d carbon fiber right here so you guys can see my reflection so why am i going to pay $500 more for something that's all real carbon fiber when I can get a wrap that looks exactly the same and I can change the color in the future. I'm not knocking anyone who gets real carbon fiber. I have real carbon fiber in some of my cars. All I'm saying is really when you're focusing on the interior, you focus it more on the look of the car. It's more of my opinion. When they didn't make carbon fiber look this real, then I can see why you could say, hey, you know what? It doesn't look appealing, so therefore don't buy it. But now it looks as just appealing as real carbon fiber, so you might as well just wrap it and have the flexibility to change it back or change the color without having to sand it down or you know rip it off or do anything like that um, for the future. So I just want to state that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna wrap this in carbon fiber and I'm gonna show you guys how it looked because these parts right here are so expensive. So so the first reason why I'm wrapping this in carbon fiber is because I don't want to pay the money to buy the real carbon fiber piece because I personally feel that, that the 3D, 4D carbon fiber look just as good, if not a perfect match. And the second reason is I don't want to go through the trouble of taking this entire console off to put a new one on because the labor is so intense in taking this off you might as well spend the money on a big carbon because if you're not, you know, really hands on in your vehicle to take this off, it's going to be a time consuming, you know, project for you. And also, if you guys want me to do a later video on how to actually take off the console, just leave um, a comment and I'll make sure I leave a video to show you guys um, how to do that. However, if you don't have the means of taking this off, you don't have a technician to take it off or you're not comfortable taking it off. I'm gonna show you how you can wrap it to where you don't have to take it off. So I wrapped this one, as you guys can see, on the car. I did not take it off. So I'm going to wrap this one outside of the car. And the only reason I'm wrapping this one outside of the car, but you guys can kind of see how to wrap it, but it's the same concept. You can reach every part that you possibly can. As you can see, I have it wrapped right there. I did not take off the piece, just so you can understand the whole process. Cause if you look at this, you can tell that there's screws at the bottom 
of this so you you have to take off the entire console in order to get to this so yeah let's go ahead and um get this wrapped up and you guys let me know what you think at the end if you think the mod is worth it or if you should wrap yours and like i said i've had 25 subscribers ask me after i did the video on wrapping that um that right there on the process of wrapping the middle console so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys in this video right here so here we go things that you're going to need in order to wrap this in carbon fibers you're going to need some rubbing alcohol you're going to need uh about 18 by 18 inches worth of um carbon fiber as you can see this is going to be the 3d or 4d carbon fiber that i've used in the previous video to wrap my side panels you're going to need some paper towel you're going to need a marker it doesn't matter what kind of marker marker pen and you're going to need some scissors and you're going to need you're going to need some scissors and a heat gun of course the alcohol is just to ensure that you clean this surface enough that way the binder will stick the marker is to outline how much binder you need the heat gun is when you're applying the vinyl to ensure that you get all of the corners that you need to get and also you're going to need a box cutter just to kind of cut the edges um, so let's just add that to the list as well so the first step that i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and clean the surface in alcohol all right guys i just finished wiping it down with alcohol so now the next step that i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get this vinyl and turn it around so as you can see this is vivid vinyl in case anyone is interested and if you look like the outcome of this video this is vivid vinyl and i will leave a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing the same vinyl so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and take the center console piece and i'm just going to lay it right here so as you're doing this you got to keep in mind you want to have enough vinyl to ensure and i'm i'm pretty used to wrapping so i'm comfortable cutting a small amount but um, if you're new at wrapping, you want to cut off enough vinyl for imperfections. So a lot of times when people lay in vinyl, they may be off on the angle. So when it's time for them to do this part, they may not have enough vinyl. And you want to make sure it's centered correctly and you have enough room to play with. As you can see right here, that's going to wrap over just fine. So the only thing I'm going to do right now with this vinyl is I'm going to go ahead and get a marker. And I'm just going to outline the middle and I'm just going to cut a little bit from the middle because if I don't cut it, the middle, it may get stretched or it may be harder to get the angles. And this just um, relieves pressure from it as I'm working on the project. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line right here in the middle. Just drew the line in the middle, like I said, to relieve pressure. So now I'm going to cut that out. So that way, when it's time for me to do my vinyl, I can have, you know, a kind of closest possible piece of vinyl as I can. So when I lay it down, I won't have any issues. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. As you guys can see, I cut off the middle piece of vinyl. And it's always good when you're cutting the vinyl to cut it with the back on because this can still be a good piece for something that's on my vehicle. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this just to ensure that I have my dimensions where it needs to be and put that right there. And so now I'm going to peel this backer off of the vinyl and I'm going to place the center console right over here on top of on the back side of the vinyl, as you can see. This is how I do it. It works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the back side of the vinyl. All right. You want to be very gentle when you're taking it off and just make sure that you don't really put your fingerprints on it or any debris as if you do that you can run into some issues with some rocks or just different things being on the vinyl. All right, so as you guys can see, I took that back piece off of it. Make sure I'm stretched out good enough. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and just simply take this piece right here, as you guys can see, and then I'm going to place it. And like I said, you want to make sure you place it to where you have enough space. I'm going to place it right over here. I'm going to make sure it's spread out like so. i press it like that. So my goal is to hopefully get a flat surface touch on this first part. So I'm just going to fill it on the back just like so. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna roll it down to where the vinyl can touch all of the parts like that. See what I'm saying? So that way, as you can see, the vinyl touch all of the parts. So now I'm gonna put that on top of it, um, trim it off and show you guys the next step. 
As you can see, it's on there pretty good. There are a few imperfections, but that's okay. I'm just gonna work that out. But as you can see, my goal was to just touch this part. That way I can ensure that it's on there pretty good. I'm gonna kind of pull that back off and yeah. So all I'm doing now, guys, is I'm just working my, my finger like this. And then as I work my finger, I'm just making sure that I'm touching the edge of this vinyl. And then I'm just gonna pull like this, as you guys can see. So this is how I'm lining up the surface of it, see? I'm just gonna pull, just kind of smooth it out and work my way through. Just show you guys again, just a close up. So right here, as you can see, I'm just making sure that I'm getting all of that smooth right there. See, I'm right on the edge of it and getting all of that smooth on those corners of it. Um, as you can see, look, and when it's time for me to cut it, I'm just gonna just bend that in and I'm gonna cut it, but I'm just giving you guys an ideal. I may have to do some of this off camera. I'm just from, from my angles perspective. I tried to use my GoPro, but it just wasn't giving me enough lighting. So I need to get a light for my GoPro. So just excuse me for doing it um, on the stand. All right, so I'm gonna keep going guys. All right, so as you can see, I'm working on the other end. I'm getting lucky so far and I'm able to get everything smooth, but sometimes if it get crumpled too much and you're not able to do it, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty simple. You can apply a little heat, and if you apply a little heat, it'll help you be able to stretch the vinyl a little bit better. As you guys can see, I started um, putting the vinyl this way, and I'm just putting it right against the surface. So I just wanted to state this, when you're dealing with 3D or 4D vinyl, it's kind of stiff. It's not like a traditional vinyl, so it's not as flexible. So you wanna apply a little heat. So as you can see, I'm applying that little heat. Once I apply that heat, then that's when I can just bend that. So as you guys can see, I'm applying that heat right there. And you see it wrinkled a little bit. So once I apply that heat, look at that guys, I'm able to stretch the vinyl. That way I can get over the turns and the crevice. So you always wanna just stretch it a little bit right here. And as you can see, it's helping me get right over those corners. So I just wanted to just make a side note of that. As you can see, it's coming along really great. So, so as you guys can see right here, I'm just basically working on the corners. I've already contoured this part. Now I'm just putting, the reason you gotta use this heat gun is so you can stretch it over the corner. Cause if you don't, um, you're gonna be faced with a situation where the vinyl come up. As you can see, I'm putting it over it. So I'm just stretching the corners versus lay it down. That way it can be nicer and firm. So watch this. So I'm just gonna press this, put a little heat right there. Just like that guys. You don't wanna put too much heat. And then once you do that, then you can just stretch it right over just like that. See that? So now it's just kind of getting that finished look that you're that you're looking for. And of course, at the end, I'm going to, you know, cut the external, you know, the extra vinyl off. But as you can see, I'm starting to get, I mean, you can't tell me that it doesn't look like real carbon fiber. So yeah, I'm working on this side. I've already hit these corners up. And so from that point, I'm gonna do this, the same thing with the other side. So just showing you guys my process as I go through, I'm not just slapping it on there. I'm being very careful and taking it a section at a time. So I'm gonna do this part right here just to kind of show you guys again. So I'm gonna put a little bit of heat, just a little bit of heat. So once I get that heat, as you can see, the vinyl is stretching. And when the vinyl stretches, that's when I put the, a little pressure to it. And then I can get that sharp corner. Right. So as you guys can see, I pretty much have the basis down as far as the entire console. Um, I got a couple of wrinkles I got to get out right there with it. I just apply a little heat. But if you look around, I have the, the base down for the actual wrap. So now I'm going to do some trimming that way I can just refine it a little bit. But this is what you ideally want. You want to be able to say, okay, I put it around the whole thing. Now you can comfortably cut. Just imagine if you weren't as precise on cutting the edges, you could end up, you know, missing an opportunity on this part over here. So yeah, all right guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming it. All right guys, this is the finished product. Like I said, this is just a cool way to where you can enhance the interior of your car without you having to, you know, take out the entire console. Or if you're on the budget and you don't wanna spend 400 bucks on a carbon center console aftermarket, I spend almost 800 from the dealership and you just on a budget and you would like to do it yourself, 
This is my tutorial on how to do it. I uh, hope you guys like it. Also remember, as you put it into the car, all of the corners and crevices will be hidden. Um, normally what I do on a vinyl is I will probably at certain times, you know, just glue the corners or something like that. But if you're putting it in the car, it's gonna clamp it anyway, so I don't. I'm not putting this in my car. Um, I, I'm gonna see if I have an old picture of it in my car, being that I have too many different tones of carbon anyway. But yeah, here we go, guys. Let's take a look and tell me what you think. Hope you guys like it. So here we go. Here we go. Look at that. You guys can even see my reflection on that. You guys can see my reflection. Look at that. You guys can see my reflection on that. You can't say that does not look like real carbon. Let's go look at the top. Come on guys, get out of here, man. Look at that. Look at that. Let's look at it from this angle. All right, there's gonna be the top part right there. Let's look at it from this angle. All right, there goes the top part. All right, here's another angle, guys, so you just can kind of see, you know, how the top part goes. As you can see, that thing is on there pretty legit. Pretty legit, pretty legit, too legit to quit. There you go. I think it looks outstanding. I uh, hope you guys like it. I think it looks outstanding. Hope you guys like it. So, yeah, this is going to be my new carbon trim. So, you guys can easily do this if you just put your mind to it, guys. Pretty simple process. I did this literally in 15 minutes. Got the full thing wrapped just so you can see the other side. As you can see, wrapped pretty good right to the edges. It's wrapped pretty good right to the edges. Yeah, there you go, guys. So if you guys wanna just compare it to regular carbon, so just so I can give you an idea of what regular carbon looks like. If I come right here, this is gonna be regular carbon versus this carbon. So this is gonna be regular carbon versus this carbon right here. So guys, this is just a comparison to show you guys what real carbon look like versus this. I mean, as you can see, my spoiler is real carbon. It's, it's a little bit lighter maybe because of the sun, but as you can see, it's just really hard to tell the difference, man. So yeah, guys, so this is a cool mod you can do to your car in under 15 minutes. Save yourself money. Bruce Custom Motors bring you guys another video. Peace, I'm out.